That is weird stuff. Uh, what's also weird is uh, the president's assault on Google and some of these other social media uh, companies who he says are rigged against conservative opinion, this administration. Uh, and when you use them, what you'll come up with is stuff that generally bashes that point of view. To the Washington Free Beacon senior writer Liz Harrington um, on what he's proposing to correct that. Uh, Therein lies the rub, right, Liz? I mean, what would the government, what would the White House, what would anyone do in Washington to police this, correct this, if it's in fact a problem? Right. It's very vague right now. All we had was Larry Kudlow saying this is something that we potentially might look into, which I think it's, you know, this is kind of akin to when Trump kind of goes off on the libel laws and issues like that. He uses a lot of grandiose rhetoric uh, to go after uh, negative coverage of him, but in the end doesn't really do much. But I think it is important for him to point out how biased it is, because Google doesn't have to change its algorithm uh, to make coverage bad for Trump. We know that 90 percent of the news stories out there are negative against Trump. So this is clearly something that couldn't be fixed anyway because the media is so biased against him. But Google, Facebook, Twitter, all of these big tech companies have a history of being very biased against conservatives. And it is an issue. I just don't think that the government is probably the best uh, correction uh, going forward. You know, you said something brilliant, as you often do, Liz, and, and that, that he, he, he maybe has no intention of using the government to, 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 to correct this. But just put it out there and maybe have market forces correct and address this themselves. I mean, right. whatever your point of view, whether you're from the right or the left, it is, it is fair to say in the mainstream media there is a, a, a bias that tilts left. It applies and extends to social media just the way it is. Now, whether that is a construct that prevents conservative opinion from getting out, period, we can debate that till the cows come home. But if the president <laughs> succeeds in, in at least putting it out there that these sites have to be much more vigilant, trying at least to balance it out, then, then it's a victory and, and the government need not be involved. Right. I think just putting it up to public scrutiny. And that's why, you know, the hearings are a fine idea. You're going to have Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey come in next week and Facebook CEO come in. I mean, that's a fine idea. They should be held to account on what they're doing because they do Dorsey have incredible credit, amount they, of power. Right. And give right. Dorsey credit. To your point, Liz, he, he admitted it. He freely admitted, look, I have a left-leaning bias. I try not <laughs> to have it interfere in what I do on Twitter. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. But, 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 but at least he comes out and says, all right, that, that guilty as charged. Right. He tweets out that uh, he is in favor of a one-party rule. Uh, the, a news article saying that California, right. that's the way to go. But it also, but if you, I could make a point about Google, they do have a history of doing this before. At the height of the 2016 campaign, we saw that the Hillary Clinton search results, when you start typing in Hillary Clinton's name, the autofill, were incredibly favorable to Hillary, and they totally suppressed negative uh, search terms associated with her. One of the top searches for Bing at the time in June 2016 was Hillary Clinton indictment because we weren't sure if the FBI was going to indict. Uh, now we know that that was never going to happen. But Google wouldn't even show up. They completely suppressed that search term. So they have a history of, of messing with their algorithm, algorithms to uh, favor the left. So and it's something that we should be concerned about. You can you mess certainly with it. Can. You, can, you can tweak them, adjust them uh, on the right and left. Sadly, what many on the right are arguing is that it happens more on the right than the left. Whether the government is there to, to, to adjust and change those algorithms, that, that could be a slippery slope. Yeah, yeah, Liz, I don't trust that. <laughs> it's always fun having you. Thank you very, very much. Liz Harrington, Thank of you. the Washington Free Beacon.